Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I have the finale, my 2023 Project Handpan finale here for you. I am super excited to end this project and to have some kind of time to use all of my makeup before I start my 2024 Project Handpan. Uh, so I have 10 items in front of me to give you the final update on did I succeed at my goals, did I not? Before we jump into my update, hello, my name is Helena and I love makeup. I love to use the makeup that I already own, but I also love to test makeup. And uh, yeah, if you like project planning content or testing up makeup, new makeup videos, you should definitely subscribe. I have not been super, super good at having like monthly updates. So it is what it is. Uh, do we, do I get better 2024? I do wish so, but I should not make empty promises. So let's uh, start off with my items. So let's start off with my items. Uh, I don't, I think I'm gonna go just like order on the, like you apply shit. So let's start with my primer. This is the Catrice Tensational Primer. 10 in 1 dream primer. This is actually really good. I enjoy it quite a lot. It has some kind of like a sl slight tint to it. You can see there. And it gives like a good glow and smooth smooths the skin and everything. And yeah, it's it, it is actually uh, pretty good. So, I did roll this one in. Uh, I think last time. And then it weighed 36 grams. My goal is to finish this one, however, I have not. So this is my progress. So I did make a good jump, but I mean, in one month, it would be amazing if I <laughs> finished like half a bottle of a primer. So I did not finish this one. I am going to ha to use it next year. And uh, yeah, this was one of the primers I wanted to finish, but... I did not really, I did not quite get there, but I am sure I will roll it out quite quickly next year. Then let's talk about my foundation. I have been working on my Peripera Ink Lasting Cover Foundation. It's a very liquidy uh, foundation, but it has great coverage and it looks super, super nice on the skin. Uh, I also wanted to finish this one. It has been in for three months now and uh, yeah, first time when I rolled it in, this one weighed 38 grams. It's weighed 20, 32 grams last month and now it's weighing 25 grams and this is the progress. So I am there. I kind of stopped using it because I realized that I'm not gonna be able to finish this one uh, before the end of the year. So I just kind of was satisfied with this progress and started to play around with the rest of my foundations to see kind of what I wanted to, to pan in the next year. So I did not finish this one. Uh, I am going to roll it in come January and my first update. Um, but right now I am testing out what kind of foundations I do want to, fin to try and pan next year apart from this one. So that is why uh, the progress is what it is. But I will finish this foundation in like a month or two next year. And then let's talk about my concealer. I have been working on the Colourpop Pretty Fresh Concealer in the shade I never remember. Um, anyways, I have been working on this one for three months, four months. And I don't like this concealer. I know that many people swear by it, but I'm just not that impressed. Um, this one weighed 33 grams, rolling it in, 32 grams in October and 30 grams in November and now I have been able to finish it. So I did remove the stopper and I mean, no, there really is not anything, anything left. Maybe, maybe like a one use at the bottom, but I, I don't care about this concealer that much. So I'm just gonna call this one quits. Uh, as I said, I do not did not like it. I will not repurchase it. Happy to have it out of my collection. Uh, then I have been working on a 
setting spray. This is from Beauty Creations. It's their peach setting spray. Really don't know what this did apart from melting the powders together. I don't feel like it gave my makeup any lasting power or anything. So uh, this one, when I rolled it in, it weighed 118 grams and this was in June. Then it's been weighing 83 grams, 64 grams, 48 grams, and now it is completely done. So happy to have this useless shit out of my out of my collection. Um, I really did, I didn't want to use it to wet my eyeshadow because it had a very strong peach scent. So I didn't want to have that uh, around my eyes because my eyes tend to water a bit. Um, so I had to, I finished it on my face, but would not repurchase this one. You can see the progress lines there. And yeah, we are done with that. Then I have been working adamantly to <laughs> pan on my big ass bronzer from Kiko Milano. This is their Ocean Feel bronzer in the shade warm honey it's one of their marbled bronzers and they are stunning i really love them uh it's big it's one of my oldest bronzers in my collection and i wanted to hit pan and yeah i have been working my way through this one so it is baked and i have been focusing my brush here and i was like really <laughs> struggling thinking that I would never hit pan. I've been using this every single day. But then I started to see the, I don't know, I hope that you will be able to see some patterning. And I realized that scraping at it today, I do have a pan. I have a pan right there. I don't know if you will be able to see, but I do have a pan. I fucking finally have a pan on this bronzer. Very happy to have met that goal. Um, it is still going to take forever to finish up because, I mean, we still have this big ass dome here. Um, but yeah, I I really enjoyed uh, the bronzer, so I'm happy to, you know, that it is looking used now. Um, and yeah, I will put it back in my collection. I've been working at this for a very long time with like minimal weight change. Um, it weighed 127 grams when I rolled it in, in June. And then it's been weighing 127 grams and now it's weighing 124 grams, which it has done for the last three months. So yeah, no really, no real weight change, but we do have finally Finally, we have a pan. So, happy about that. Moving on. Uh, I have a lip liner I've been working on for quite some time. This is a really, really old lip liner from Kix Beauty, which is no longer a brand. It's the shade Blueberry Lips. Like a very blueberry <laughs> purple. Wow, amazing. Uh, this one has been in since March and it's been weighing three grams from March and then in October, no, in November it weighed two grams and it's now weighing two grams and I have not finished this one. Will I finish this one next year? I do have quite some, quite a jump now uh, compared to other months because I started to fill in my entire lips. It is what I'm wearing today. So. As you can see, quite steady progress uh, there all of the months and then from November to December we do have quite a jump. So maybe if I continue using it this way, I will be able to finish this product, but I am not sure. But I'm gonna work on it. I will work on it. I will be so sick of these purple toned lips, um, but you know, it is so old. We should we should be parting ways. Uh, another liner is my LA Girl Lullaby, um, like neon metallic eyeliner in the shade Lullaby. Pardon. Um, I rolled it in in June and it weighed five grams then and then and uh, now it is weighing two grams. It is not really done yet. But it's very tiny and 
It has a humongous jump because the pencil tend to snap and fall out of the packaging. So I only have that much left. Should be able to finish this one in the, during the next year as well. I do want to have it out. It is like a metallic beige, which is not my favorite. I want a matte beige to brighten the waterline. But it is what it is. So this one was not, uh, I wasn't able to finish. Then I have a highlighter and I realized that, you know, I could not finish this one. It would have been crazy, but it is my Ofra highlighter. I had like a little, like with small pants. And then I repressed those uh, highlighters that I had remaining into this. And this is what we are looking like now. I would want to finish this one next year, but it's very, like it is Ofra highlighters. So it's very intense. You, do, you don't need much. So I don't know if I will be able to finish this. Maybe. It's not super, super thick, but it is still intense highlighter. We shall see, but anyways, when I rolled this in, it was in the original packaging, it weighed 82 grams. I repressed it and then it weighed 57 grams and it still weighs 57 grams. So, two products left. So let's talk about my glitter. I wanted to use my um, glitter eyeshadow from Riri. I got this from YesStyle quite some time ago. I rolled this in last time and it weighed 20 grams and I did use it some um, but I realized that it was burning my eyes so I decided to uh, you know stop using it. This is too old and apparently like obviously my eyes uh, did not enjoy the experience so I, I am just gonna declutter this one but I did use it some uh, wasn't able to finish it though, so that one will be tossed. And then finally I have the lipstick, the liquid lip that I wore uh, in combination with this lip liner and that is the Give Me Glow Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in the shade Berry Smoothie. It looks like that. And I was able to finish this. I did even remove the stopper. I mean probably I could have some use still on my lips but this is also super super old in my collection and yeah I am happy to have a pink lip I do have I have like an exact same shade but from ABH that I want to finish next year um don't know why like this dusty dark pink was something that I really felt like I needed in my life but apparently I did um buy a lot of different uh, lipsticks in that shade. So we are done with this one and I'm happy about that. So that means that we did finish off uh, for this month. We finished the lipstick, the spray, the concealer and we are tossing this one and we met the goal hitting pan on the bronzer. So one, two, three, four, five. Five out of ten items I was su successful with this, mo this month. I cannot talk. And that is good. I think that's absolutely okay. So what I'm going to do now, I'm not going to roll anything in. I will play around with shit from my collection. And then uh, come 2024, I will have my new like reset um, I will still of course probably work on items from this update like I will probably roll these ones in come next year but I am gonna play around with other things from my collection a bit and yeah I am super happy I did manage to finish a lot of shit, shit in this project it is really working out well for me and um, let me know if you are doing like a rolling tan style product pan or what kind of product pan you are doing are you continuing with it next year or how how do you use your makeup please let me know in the comments i love to hear from you and uh, yeah i um i will see you with 
the next update next year and Merry Christmas. I hope that you are all doing really well and uh, Happy New Year and yeah, I will see you very soon. <laughs> Bye guys.